Good morning. <clears throat> Happy Monday. It's May 15th. It's a little after 7.30. So, I did a favorites video this weekend. I think you guys like that. But there are a few things as a follow-up to that. One, I knew it. So, this is a combined thing. One, one of the things I should have mentioned at the moment is my favorite fragrance is the, the, um, the Frederick Mall Portrait of a Lady. Um, that I bought at Barney's when I was in New York a month or so ago. I've been wearing this almost every day. And that also brings me to the request from the lovely Raquel, who said, when I do my daily get-ups, can we talk about what I'm wearing for fragrance? So you might get bored, because every day this has been it. And I mean, actually, not that, I mean, you can see, not that much has been used. However, that's kind of a lot to have been used in a short period of time, especially given like how much I have in the fragrance category. So anyway, this I should have added to a favorites. The other thing that I should have added to a favorites is the Dazzle Dry Nail Polish. I got my nails done again yesterday. Other, so now I've used this, I've had manicure, this is the fifth one I think. Only one of the four previous to this lasted only one week. The other one, other three lasted two weeks. So the Dazzle Dry, like I wish more salons had this. I love it. So that's a definite favorite. Definite, definite, definite favorite. Okay, then I had a few questions on when I did my favorites video. You know, I almost didn't put it up because I didn't like the way I looked. Like I felt like I had... I don't know if it was too much bronzer, or I used a tinted moisturizer, actually, that I hadn't used in a while, and I wonder if it was from closer to, like, when I was tanner. That might have been why I looked so dark. But I almost didn't put it up, because I'm like, how can I talk about my favorite makeup when I look like this? But I didn't want to redo it. But anyway, having said that, I got a couple questions on, I was wearing more of a smoky, like, gray-blue eyeshadow, and it is from... This is the Visart Paris Nude Palette, and that day I went off the, the um, usual routine, and I used this palette, I used these two colors here to get that kind of smoky blue eye, gray eye. I think I used this one mainly on the lid and this one kind of a little in the crease. Um, so I can't say enough about the Visart palettes in general. Um, I told you the matte neutral is one of my favorites, but you know, depending on your your color preferences, um, I think these are really really good eyeshadows. I think I've said this before too. Like it's expensive. It's like I don't know, eighty or eighty five dollars for this palette. But I feel like you'd pay forty or forty five for four of these shadows in a quad from like Chanel or something. So to me, it's just expensive, but I feel like you get a lot. So there's that, and. That's it, other than what I'm wearing, which is an Hermes bracelet, my CH Carolina Herrera necklace that Alicia had given me for Christmas, Christmas, I think, um, my Reese jacket. I'm. This is an old, I wish there were, I got to find more of these. This is an old Vince kind of satiny t-shirt shape thing, and I have a white one too, but it's a little, getting a little dingy. Like, I would love another couple of these. Um... Gucci belt, these J brand staggered hem jeans, my um, my Chanel slingbacks, which were also in my favorites, and my um, Chanel tote. <coughs> so that's the get up for the day. Other than that, I I went out Friday night. We had a fun dinner, a bunch of us, and then Saturday night I stayed in. I was I've been under the weather like the whole last week. It, I don't know. It's been a combination of allergies and or a cold. I can't really exactly figure out what. But so I stayed in on um, Saturday night. I went to Italy after I got my hair cut. And um, I've grabbed some food to cook myself for dinner. So I made myself some pasta with these little Florida red shrimp. They were like, they're smaller and sweeter than the shrimp that you usually get with um, broccoli. And... Oh, and I, so I finished this most recent season of Homeland. Oh my God, that's such a good show. It's really an investment because you have to really pay attention. Um, and I feel like I could rewatch it to really pick up more because it's, there's lots of intric in, intricacies happening. But um, 
I think I love I love like I love spy novels. I love spy shows. Like I find that all very interesting. So anyway, recommend if you're into that kind of thing. And that is it for today. I will see you soon. Bye. Okay, good morning. It's Tuesday. It's a very quick one today because my breakfast is cooking. Um, anyway, um, it's going to be so warm out today. I was like, I'm going to whip out this like linen jacket I haven't worn since last summer, which is from Max Mara. A Sport Max top. This Alexis Pitar necklace. I like this Sport Max top too because it's like a little high low thing here. My J Brand photo ready jeans, my Ferragamo sandals, and my Givenchy bag and my Hermes um, bracelet. So that's a real quick one. I have tomorrow off, which is very exciting because it's the party in the park to benefit the Emerald Necklace Conservancy in Boston, and it's at the J out at Jamaica Pond. It's a fun hat party, so I'll be all gussied, and I'll have a lot to report tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs> Good morning. It's, it's me, Lissy, and it is Wednesday, May 17th at almost 10. I'm actually ready very early. I'm obviously not working today. <laughs> I went to Pilates last night. I went to the gym this morning, still at 6 a.m., even though I wasn't working because my trainer didn't have, like, she didn't, it was either that or 9 a.m., and 9 a.m. I felt like it was too late because I need to be ready to go by 11. So I'm already ready to go an hour early, but I wanted to have time to yap at you, and I wanted to make sure I had time to let that, like, this needs to be more like that, to make sure that, I was planning on wearing a different um, hat fascinator, whatever, with this dress, because this yellow isn't exactly this yellow, but it'll do. And anyway, long story, this is just what I have. I've got to futz around with ugh, this thing. All right. Um, anyway, so today is the party in the park, which is the annual, like, luncheon out in Jamaica Pond to benefit the Boston um, uh, Emerald Necklace Conservancy. Like, benefits all the, like, you know, parks and stuff in Boston. Okay, I need to redo this because this is not working for me right now. Anyway, we'll, we'll come back to this. So, that's the story for the day. And it is, like, so gorgeous out. Yesterday was like 80 ish today is going to be I think close to 90 which is a little hot but better this than like a week ago today would have been a disaster for this because it was cold and rainy um so I'm really excited for the nice day um so before I get on to the day yesterday I forgot to tell you yesterday I was wearing Tom Ford Oodwood today I'm back to the Fred Frederick Mall portrait of a lady so that's the fragrance, and um, <clears throat> I should put my hat back on, and I'll show you the whole outfit. We can do that while we chat. So, and I, I guess, so this, I bought this hat a long time ago, hat, fascinator, whatever you want to call it, when Alicia had a little shop on Newberry Street. So I've worn this a few times to these kinds of things, but nobody will remember. You know, it's like, how many of these can you really have? There are literally two things a year in Boston that one goes to that requires something like this, and this is one of them. And then in a month, there's the Rose Garden Party, which is like an evening event. It's like a cocktail party. Like, it's not a sit-down dinner, but it's a cocktail. It's a dinner. It's like a buffet dinner, um, and it's in the Back Bay Fens, which is like beautiful, beautiful rose gardens. I mean, we're lucky that we have people that support that, because if you've ever come to Boston to visit, and if you haven't and you're going to, you must wander through the public garden, like this time of year in particular, because it is just so like, m like perfectly manicured. The flowers are kept up. It is just really pretty. And then out in the Fenway, in the Back Bay Fens, like the Rose Gardens there, I'm, I'm planning to go to that party. So that's, that's not till June, like 15th or something. So I'll, you know, take some photos or something so you can see, but it is just so, so pretty. So anyway, um, and it's a really, just, it's a fun way to spend a day or an evening. So, um, ugh. I wish there was a better way to put this thing on. I think that needs to go like that, and that can go through there. I think that's better. Okay, that's fine. We'll stop futzing for now. This'll do. 
when I get in the car with Alicia, she'll fix me if I need to be fixed. Um, as I say, I'm not futzing and I'm futzing. <laughs> so anyway, so today it will be, you know, 11 o'clock starts the cocktail hour. <laughs> and then there's a proper, like a sit down lunch. It's always beautiful. Like it's just always beautifully done. Um, and then a bunch of the ladies always end up going out to whoop it up after. So I think, like last year we went to the Bristol Lounge in the Four Seasons. We do that a lot, but it is too nice out to be sitting inside. So I'm hoping we go sit outside at the Intercontinental because it's on the water in the seaport and it is just like perfect on a day like today. So as for the outfit, I've got this fascinator thing on. This is a Lila Rose dress that I've had for a few years, like a nice little fit and flare dress. My Valentino Rock Stud sandals. And I'm carrying this Saint Laurent clutch. And this is um, an Alexis Batar bracelet. See, I was initially planning on wearing a turquoise fascinator um, that I was going to borrow from Alicia, but she couldn't find what she was planning to wear. So she had to wear the turquoise thing. So I decided I would wear this. And I think it's fine. I have a pink dress I could put on if I wanted, but it's not, for a really hot day like today, it's not the dress I would really want to wear. So I'm going to just deal with this. So I think that's it for now, right? I think so. Um, so I will, I'll see you. I'll, I'll at least take pic some pictures or videos like of the event today so you can see how lovely it is. Um, yeah, and that's it for now. Talk to you soon. Bye. So I'm just waiting to be collected and we're on our way to the party in the park. You promised me to tell if there's anything haunting you You leave without saying where you're going or where to Should I worry that you won't come back? Should I worry that you will forget? A sense is telling me I shouldn't worry you know the truth Ooh. day yesterday so when I last left you I was on my way to the party in the park so Alicia came and got me at like 11 so we got there around 11 30 um they have like a you know like a little cocktail hour I I just really drank sparkling water for that because well for two reasons one I figured it would be, be best to wait to have any cocktails but two really all they were serving was Prosecco and I really prefer just regular wine so I waited till we actually sat down at the lunch to have, and I was actually also good because at lunch I only had one glass of lime because it was really hot yesterday. Beautiful, beautiful day. I'll insert some either, I'll probably after this put the like, you know, the, a few of the pictures and some like little clips of what I, of yesterday. Um, 
But then after the lunch, so every year a whole a whole gaggle of the gals go out and like while away the afternoon with rosé and whatever. And we typically go to the Bristol Lounge at the Four Seasons. But our little group, we didn't want to because it was too nice out. So we sat outside of the Intercontinental and I was surprised. Like, no, everybody else must have still gone to the Bristol. But we were just so happy to be sitting outside. So before we, so by the time we got there, it was probably like three. So we, you know, hung out, drank wine, had some snacks, and then, I don't know, 6, 6.30, we went and sat still outside at the Intercontinental, but at the proper restaurant, um, and had, like, a real meal. The The lunch is, the food is really good, but it's it's a petite little portion, so we were hungry. Um, and there's a lovely waiter at the restaurant there. At, at the restaurant at the Intercon is called Meal, M-I-E-L, Meal. And there's this lovely waiter, Paul, who, um, he's awesome. He's, he's like, we, whenever we go there, we always ask to sit with him. And so we just like the bottles and bottles of the Ot Rosé. Oh my God. So good. Like off the charts, you know, food, whatever. And then before I knew it, it was like 11 o'clock. So I didn't get home until, I don't know. Did I leave there at 11? I probably didn't get home till almost 1130. So needless to say, I'm a little tired today, but it was all worth it. Um, so yeah, so it's going to be another squatcha today, as we say here in Massachusetts. <laughs> and, um, but I'll be in the AC at work. And then tonight I have an event, like a little soiree to go to at, um, there's this lovely photographer named Cheryl Richards at her studio. She's hosting a woman whose name is Nada, and she, I want to say she has these, like, I think if, I, if I've got the story right, I'll, I'll tell you tomorrow once I've been, if I've got the story right, she's a, she's a doctor or some sort of medical professional, but she's developed these kind of, like, um, wellness, like, teas and things, so anyway, so I'm going to that, and then I'm sure a bunch of us will go out to dinner after, so that's the story for the day. So I am wearing a kitten ace top. You'll see it's got, oh no, at the bottom it's got scalloping. A Danny Joe necklace, an Hermes bracelet. I see I've got the little scallop thing here. A St. John's skirt, Laurent's Decade shoes, and I'm wearing my Dior bag with my Dior twilly. Um, So that is the get up for today. And I'm off, so have a good one. Okie dokie. It's Saturday afternoon. <clears throat> it's May 20th. Yeah, it's May 20th at like 5 o'clock. So I did film, um, it's up, you know, it's, I put it up last night. I did a shot my closet video. Um, that was my productive activity for Friday night. I wasn't feeling well. So thank you. So many of you had well wishes for me and I really appreciate it. It was like a short lived thing. It just, anyway, I feel fine. I feel great today. Um, so thank you. So I got up this morning. I normally see my trainer on Saturday mornings, but um, she pinged me at like, I usually see her at eight and she pinged me at like, I don't know, maybe 720 and said she just woke up like, and she lives in New Hampshire. So there was no way, way she was going to make it by eight o'clock. And then, so I didn't end up seeing her this morning. So I ended up going out for like a lovely long walk and it is so beautiful here today. Like, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we had, um, like, a heat wave. Like, it was in the 90s here. It was hot. I mean, that's hot even for, like, July and August, but it's still only May. And in New England, that's, it's crazy. So it was really hot. And it's dropped, like, 20 or 30 degrees, and it's, like, in the 60s. It is so nice and sunny and beautiful. So I went out for a nice long walk. Um, I came home. I had some breakfast. I FaceTimed with my sister. And then um, I went and got my brows done. They feel like they just were getting unruly. So I did that. And then I honestly like, you know, I was out and about a little. And then I just came home, made myself some lunch. And I don't know what I've been doing. Oh, you know what I've been doing? So last night and today, I the, the third season of... Um, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt is back. Is anybody watching that? 
That show, I just find it so funny. The first season was definitely the best. It was the most novel. So the, the plot is Kimmy was trapped in a bunker. Like, she was basically kidnapped by this guy. Um, you know, she and, like, you know, three or four other women were kidnapped and held in this bunker for, like, years. And they escape. And she ends up going to New York, to New York City, I think maybe to, like, be on a talk show and then stays. And so it's just very, it's funny because it's, you know, her experience living in New York City after, like, being locked up for so many years that she doesn't even know what real life is like. Um, and it's produced, written, whatever, by Tina Fey, so you know it's good and funny. But um, anyway, the point is the first season was really the best. Um, and this one is good, but it's not, you know, not as good as the first season. But anyway, I watched, since I stayed in last night, I watched, um, I don't know, like four episodes of it last night, and I watched a couple episodes today. So that's what I've been doing. And I caught a cat nap. And then um, I'm going out to meet my friend Nicole for dinner at this restaurant called Scampo, which I love and I haven't been to in a while. Um, so I'm excited about that. And that's over, like, in Beacon Hill, so I'm going to walk. So it'll be a nice, like, 25-minute walk on a beautiful day. So it's a good day. The other thing I have to report is that in a few weeks, I am going on vacation. I am going to Lake Como, Milan, and then Dubrovnik. So if anybody has tips, let me know. The plan is, I think we're going to spend three days in Lake Como. My friend Sandy has to be in Lake Como at the beginning for work and in Dubrovnik at the end for work. So to get to Lake Como, we're flying in and out of Milan. So we're flying into Milan and going to go straight to Lake Como, spend a few days there. Um, then we're going to go back to Milan because that's really where the main, I guess, airport near there is. And so we figured we'd spend a few days there, and then we're going to fly from there to Dubrovnik. Um, so that's my story for the moment. And um, I know where we're staying. Actually, I know where we're staying at each place. Um, we're staying at Costa del Diva, like near Lake Como. We're staying at the Principe de Savoia in Milan, which is a Dorchester Collection Hotel, which I know is going to be amazing because, you know, the Beverly Hills Hotel is also a Dorchester Collection Hotel, and that's one of my favorite hotels in the world. And then I forget where we're staying in Dubrovnik. It's wherever she's staying for work anyway. Um, but I've never been to Croatia. We're only going to have three days there. But if there's anything, like, that we have to do, let me know. I'm thinking in Milan. I mean, I know in Milan we're going to do a lot of eating, drinking, and shopping. And I know in Lake Como, like where we're staying is like kind of a resorty place, so there will be some pool time and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, any tips are appreciated. Is that it? Oh, the other thing. So I think I may start my Kelly search. And um, I think the prices in Europe, like when I looked – you know, when I was researching, it looks like a Kelly, a 32 centimeter Kelly in euros is like, I don't know, maybe seven or 8,000 euros, but in dollars is like over $11,000 and seven or 8,000 euros is like a lot less than $11,000 with how the exchange rate is right now. So I may try that when I'm in Milan. I don't know if I'll have any luck, but the other thing, if I don't have any luck, I don't know. Like, I don't really want to, I don't think I want to pay $11,000 for the Kelly. Um, so I may consider, you know, the secondhand market or not that this is a Kelly, but I had looked at for a long time and was reminded by the lovely Max from Bipolar Max. I'm sure you guys watch her. She just got a Del Vaux bag, um, I think from her husband for her birthday slash anniversary or something. And it is such a beautiful bag and it's like the, it's got that Kelly look. You know, it's that same, like, top handle, kind of the same shape top handle with a long strap. And they're beautifully, beautifully made bags. Um, so when I saw that, I was like, hmm, that is something to consider instead of the Kelly. So that's what I'm thinking at the moment. Yeah. Did I have anything else to tell you? I don't think so. Um... I think that's it. So anyway, I, what am I wearing? 
I'm wearing an Hermes bracelet like always. Um, a St. John jacket, a Zara top, my Gucci belt, my J brand Maria high rise jeans, Stuart Weitzman sandals, and I'm going to carry this Chanel bag. Um, oh, and my, um, my Dior earrings. So that is like the get up for the evening out. And I think that's it. I feel like there was something else I wanted to talk to you guys about. It'll come to me. Um, but happy Saturday. Have a good weekend. Bye. Oh, fragrance of the day, portrait of a lady.